What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you iOS 7.1 and all of the changes. So if you guys don't know, iOS 7.1 has just been released today and I wanted to go ahead and walk you through all of the changes that took place in this update. Now the first thing I wanna mention is that you don't wanna to upgrade to iOS 7.1 if you wanna keep a jailbroken device. iOS 7.1 patches the evasion jailbreak, therefore if you update, you are not going to be able to jailbreak your device. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into some of the changes here. The first thing I want to show you is the new slider for the slide to power off. So you'll see that we got a completely different look right here. And you'll also notice as I slide, it's going to dim the screen right there. And if we wanted to cancel it, then we just tap right there and it's going to cancel that power off. You also notice if we jump to the uh, lock screen right here, that we have a little bit different of a animation for slide to unlock. The actual highlight right there is a little bit wider than it was on the previous iOS 7. So a slight change, but it is noticeable. Now, if we look at the icons on iOS 7.1, you'll notice that the messages and the phone, as well as the FaceTime application, all of the green icons has actually gotten a little bit of a darker tone to them. So it looks a little bit different. You'll also notice right here, if we do a close up of the photos app that that looks different as well they've gotten rid of some of the darker innards right there in the middle of the photos app icon so if we jump into the phone application here there's quite a bit of design changes and you'll notice first of all maybe that there is a little bit of a darker tone to the keypad in the background right here it's not quite as bright you also notice for sure that this is a circular call button rather than a rectangular one and if we wanted to call kate upton real quick we would just type in her number tap call and you can see that this does a little animation flips the phone over and turns red so now this is the cancel button you have a picture of Kate Upton right there and her name right there now if we cancel this and we wanted to call somebody that we actually haven't called before or we don't have saved in our device let's say we just wanted to call whoever's number that is you'll notice that the add to contacts button has changed to just a plus sign so you can see you can add create a new contact or add to an existing contact right there also if we jump into the settings here and we go down to general and accessibility one thing you'll notice is a new toggle and it's called button shapes so you'll notice it right up here once I toggle it on you get a button shape. So Apple has actually used these text only buttons as part of the iOS 7 design language, which can sometimes be confusing. So what they did was add this button shapes toggle and it adds shapes to those text buttons. So it's extremely easy to determine whether that's a button or not. So you can see right here, if we jump into the calendar app that it's done so as well for the inbox calendars today, March, I mean, it basically just highlights it and makes it a little more visible for the user to know that that is actually a button. You also notice if we jump into the music app here with those button shapes on that they highlight these uh, repeat, create and shuffle with underlining. So those are a little more easier to uh, determine. Now, something else that they've changed is if you toggle on one of these that you get a dark little uh, background right there to show that these are actually toggled on. So it's extremely easy to tell when these are enabled. But going back to the settings and to accessibility, you can see right here, if we tap on increase contrast, you get a few more options here. You have reduced transparency, darken colors, and reduce white point. So the first one and the most noticeable one is reduced transparency. So if we toggle that on and go to the home screen, you'll notice first of all, the new dock here. So basically it completely gets rid of that transparency. Also, it's gonna take place in the folders as you can see right there. Now, if we go back to the settings and we darken the colors, this one is actually kind of hard to tell a difference, especially just going back and forth like this. But in essence, it darkens all the colors and it's kind of hard to tell, like I said, but it actually does so. Now, if we reduce the white point here and we toggle this on, basically what it does is put a overlay over the entire device and make the white point just a little bit more dull, not quite as bright. So if we toggle this on, you'll see the difference. If I toggle this on and off a little bit, you should be able to tell a difference of it getting a little bit brighter and a little bit darker right there. Also, if we go into the calendar app again, you'll notice that we have a new button right here that shows you the list in the calendar. So you no longer have to tap on the search icon to see the list view, which wasn't very intuitive. You'll also notice that the button to toggle the list view in the inbuilt calendar has actually made a little bit bolder. Now, if you're not a fan of the parallax effect, then you could actually turn this off by enabling the reduce motion in the general settings 
in accessibility. As you can see right here, you could toggle that on right there. Now this was available in iOS 7, but one thing that it didn't do is address the wallpaper zooming issue. And you can actually do that in iOS 7.1. So if we jump back here, tap on wallpaper and brightness, and we want to choose a new wallpaper. When we choose the new wallpaper here, you can actually toggle on perspective zoom or toggle it off either one and you can set your wallpaper depending on what you really want to do. Also if we jump back into the settings here you'll notice we actually have a completely new setting panel for the passcode rather than being buried in the general settings panel right here. So that's much easier to access and definitely a huge plus. There's also been some changes to the keyboard. So if we open up a note here and create a new note, you'll notice that the keyboard is actually quite a bit brighter. It has a lighter background and the text is actually bolder. And the shift button right here is actually changed. If we tap on this to uh, toggle it on, you'll notice that. Also, if we put it on caps lock, then we get a little line right underneath. So not a huge difference, but I actually like the color of this keyboard quite a bit better than the original iOS 7. You also notice some of the uh, animations has actually been sped up as I go through these. It might be uh, hard to notice since uh, you're just looking at this through a video and you don't have something side by side, but the animations are actually a little bit faster. And if we bring up the control center, you also notice that it has a little bit of a bounce right there that it didn't have before. There's also a new car display restriction toggle. If we go into the settings, go into general, and we go down here to restrictions. We'll tap on enable restrictions and you can see down here that we actually have the car display toggle right here. So when car display is actually officially released, then you'll be able to toggle that on or off right there. Now another small change we have if we jump into Safari, you'll see that it says search web or enter site name rather than saying search or enter an address like in the previous iOS 7. If we go into the music app again, and we jump back here to iTunes radio you'll see you have a new new button to create a new station right there in iOS 7.1 some things have also been renamed so if we go back into the settings and we go back to uh, accessibility and we scroll down here for the larger text if we tap on that you'll see it says larger accessibility sizes when previously it said larger dynamic type now if we bring down the notification center and we tap on all, you can see that we get a new message here that says no notifications and no missed notifications. Also in iTunes radio, you have a new buy album button in addition to the button that lets you just buy the individual song. They've also added some new natural sounding Siri voices for Australian English, for United Kingdom English, Japanese, and Chinese. So if you've been looking forward to that, then those have been added as well. And since I'm doing this video on a iPhone 5, there's actually a new feature only for the iPhone 5S, and that's a new auto HDR mode. So if you have an iPhone 5S, then you can enable this. It automatically sets the best photo from the HDR photos. And if you want the camera to save all three exposures, you need to turn off the auto toggle in the HDR toggle. And iPhone 5S owners also have the option to prevent photos taken using the burst mode and the photo stream. So what do you guys think about the new changes in iOS 7.1? Did they do a good job in the changes? Were they too subtle? And what did you want changed that actually didn't get changed in the new update? Let me know everything in the comments below. I look forward to reading your comments. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, then go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.